Hallo. This is a little movie about the uh, over carrier Elizabeth Sandstrom on her maiden voyage from Gothenburg via Lisbon to K. White and back to Rotterdam. It was made by the uh, Swedish Seaman Union's people uh, on behalf of the Swedish Union and they um, Right now we are seeing the, the uh, guests, Mrs. Fanstrom and Mr. Fanstrom, who are the owners. That Mr. Fanstrom with the hat, and uh, this is a famous singer from Sweden. And uh, this is the custom that the shipyard's director, Mr. Svensson, gives the godmother the uh, some roses, and also in the old days, the. Um, uh, people at the shipyard used to have uh, some small entertainment in connection with the christening. In this case, it's a friend to Mr. Fansom's wife who is the godmother and just smashed the uh, bottle of champagne into the bow of Elizabeth Fansom. And uh, Elizabeth Fansom comes from the name of the daughter of Mr. Fansom. And um, she is, was born 1952, and uh, at that time she was about eight, nine years old when this uh, movie was made. And uh, right now we are seeing Mr. Fanstrom, the godmother, and Mr. Fanstrom at the podium. And uh, it was a cold uh, January day, 1967, and uh, it was like 27 below zero centigrade uh, so everybody was kind of freezing and uh, this is the company flag we are hoisting after after the christening which kind of um, established the ownership chains of the from the shipyard to the owner so we took down the uh, shipyard's flag and put up the company flag and as it was so the weather wasn't too too pleasant, we decided to uh, go to Lisbon, where weather is better, to to do the final painting of the ship. And uh, this picture shows when we are just leaving the berth in Gothenburg, and my first experience with a very very pitch propeller. And I uh, was a little bit nervous at that time because uh, it was 25,000 horsepower to control and and uh, there wasn't much room for mistakes and these are the tugboats pulling the ship off the berth and once we clear the berth we uh, could start our own engine and uh, get on our way and right now we're headed out over the North Sea uh, down to the English Channel through the Channel to um, to uh, the western part of uh, France, and right now we can see the pilot cutter picking up the the Swedish pilot who helped us to navigate out of the shipyard to the open waters. And um, the um, what you see here is the uh, a Portuguese flag on the starboard side which is on our side of the ship and the company flag and the Swedish flag the nationality of the ship in this picture we see a uh, Mr. Håkan Unstad who was married to uh, a famous uh, ice princess uh, she was Olympian something in the early 20s or 30s and Mr. Fansom, his wife. And we are now passing the Portuguese coast, northern Portuguese coast, and we open the hatches just to uh, ventilate it out. And the, the Portuguese pilot is coming with his 
his boat and uh, we are taking him on board. And the uh, second officer is assisting him up to the bridge and I'm welcoming him on board. And this is our signal letters that we, uh, SNMA, which was the signal letters for the vessel. Right now we are heading into Lisbon to better weather. And this is the Columbus uh, monument in uh, on the way in uh, to Lisbon, and uh, we stayed in Lisbon about uh, roughly uh, eight nine days, and now we are headed down the South Atlantic, and the weather is getting better and better, and uh, we are starting to do some maintenance on the vessel. Uh, we had a crew of 32 people and uh, the, the ship's designation was OBO which meant oil, bulk and ore. We could load, load iron ore or we could load bulk, uh, that was coal or wheat or we could load oil. And this is the old type of navigation with a sextant that we used in those days and uh, no their satellites.